Okay, this is Chaos 64 with Occupy Wisconsin going to Occupy Madison. I've getting, been getting reports today that the Sheriff's Department is here. I don't know what we'll find. <coughs> this is Chaos 64 and I am at Occupy Madison. It's nighttime. Temperature is slowly dropping. You can see that we have a fire. Oh, nice. And these people are bringing firewood. Look at that. He's spotlighting us. Oh. We've got some donations here. We've got some toothbrushes, some warm stuff. Donations brought in from somebody outside of Madison. Very cool. Come sit by me. Hey, dude, look what you got. That's right. That's the way it goes. We all in this together. Yep. Pulling our resources. Yes. Keep this going all night then, or do you just start it up at night? This thing's going pretty much all day. All day and all night? So <laughs> like a 24-hour occupy. Ocu hey, one of our demands is that uh, Parisi and some other girl spend the night in the shelter. Yeah, yeah, with the bed bugs. Hey, check this shit out, man. I haven't been in the shelter since you know, Halloween, and I've still got marks all over my arms. Here, come over here in the light. I want to get that in you stream. I have not been in shelter since Halloween, and I still got the shit all over my arms. It's all over my legs. I went there one time, and I woke up without my shoes and all my stuff. Everything. That's how ignorant people are there. Oh, so yeah. I think that's a cool place to go. You I'd rather be here. You have to sleep right on top of it. But you can snuggle up in your blankets and take care of that. And you're sleeping. I actually sleep in the tent. I woke up okay. At the shelter, you can't sleep. Well, at least they told me about that. Fire extinguished twice today. And they've extinguished but, the fire. But it spontaneously restarts. Huh, I wonder um, how that happens. So far, the, the Parks Department came out here today and said that people could get tickets if they're here past 10 o'clock. The Fire Department came twice and put out the fire. The um, Fire Marshal, the, like, one of the zoning kind of guys, came out and said... You know, he was kind of okay with things. He just checked around, make sure there wasn't any, you know, things to be concerned about, make sure we didn't burn propane in the tents or whatever. So he, he was kind of cool with things, but we need a permit from the fire, or from the Dane County, and Dane County won't give us a fire permit, even though they just gave a community group a fire permit a few, a few days ago. You know, but apparently we're different, so they don't want to give us a fire permit. And then the most recent thing is the Sheriff's Department came out. They sent two plainclothes officers out in an unmarked car to come and tell us that we might get tickets. Um, but that's been the case the whole time we've been here and we're trying to determine, this is the fourth time we've been told we could get tickets and each time we call their bluff they don't give us tickets. So we're just really unclear what's going on. So we're trying to decide what to do. Some people think that at 10 o'clock tonight they could come back and give us tickets. Other people think they're just bluffing again. We're thinking about calling the media and, and saying, hey, give us somebody to negotiate with. Tell us what's going on <clears throat> the group did decide a, a list of demands last night they said they could be out of here by December 9th um, and they'd be out of here by December 9th if we got a fire permit permission to get a porta potty some bus tickets and that um, they want a third party complaint system for the, the they wanted Joe Preezy to go stay a night in the men's shelter the, the county executive mm -hmm. they wanted the uh, county's attorney Marsha McKenzie to go spend a night in the women's shelter and they wanted Dan Callahan or another homeless person reinstated to the um, to the homeless issues committees because there's no homeless people on the homeless issues committee you know so that, that's sort of the, the biggest summary that I can come up with Right now, it's just a big determination. What, what are we going to do? Human know. Services has been working with people. Now that they're working individually, one-on-one -on -one with people, and not kind of like you know rushing us at the last minute and and talking to people on a huge group, but actually individually working with people, there seems to be some progress. So I think that's really good news. And if they were given some time, maybe things would work out. But if they're going to, like, it's really hard to know. They're, they're trying to work with us on one hand, and then on the other hand, they seem to be, pushing you know, us pushing, out. And pushing us out. Yeah. And the thing is, people are saying, like, where can we go? And I've been saying, I don't, we don't have a place to go. And we were just talking about what would we do? I mean, should we go somewhere? Should we not go somewhere? Who's going to get tickets? What are we going to do? And, and I, it's all unknown. It's very... Um, <laughs> up in the air at the moment. Which is, you know, unfortunate because it's not letting the people here have any stability in their lives, not knowing if they should go to their appointments or if they're going to come back and the camp's going to be gone. It's, it's, it's very stressful for people.